What's going on guys, ChewSFM here taking a look at Mammal Swine with high horsepower in the Open Master Leagues. As this is my very first Open Master League video, I'm very excited to be able to finally play in the Open Master League. Now, Mewtwo, Dragonite, not quite maxed out. Dragonite's really close, Mewtwo's not, not even close. Um, but still, I was able to hang with this team and a lot of that was thanks to Mammal Swine putting in a lot of work. This thing now has Positive matchups in all even shield scenarios. It goes 58% in the one shield, but I'm using it on the safe swap. And normally on the safe swap, you're gonna get a small energy lead. So we'll say four turns, right? Two powder snows, not that much. That raises the one shield win rate up to 67%. And if we play out the twos, it's even better. Actually crazy, 27 and six in the twos, which is an 82% win rate. This thing can go absolutely crazy against some teams and you're going to see it. You're going to see it on this team right here because it hits hard with that high horsepower. Nearly one shots the Dialga right there. We're able to farm down and we're going to be able to throw this avalanche into what did they come in with? Uh, Zacian. Zacian's gone. <laughs> All they got left now is a Giratina. Yeah, not ready for this for this Pokemon, right? I mean, Zacian's a great answer for it if he can land the close combat but it's just putting in work against my opponent's team, actually able to get the sweep right here in the first featured battle. So go ahead, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let's get it going. All right, jumping into the next battle, Mewtwo up against the Zacian lead. So this is where I would prefer to see it. Mewtwo can win this in the ones I know for sure. Not sure about the twos. I'm thinking so, but I could be wrong. Also, Quick Attack versus Snarl. I don't know all the differences. Like I said, this is my very first battles in the Open Master League. So I'm going to be building up and going for the side strike. However, my opponent makes a really nice catch onto their Diaga. I'm going to farm up a little bit extra energy, come in with Mammal Swine, and I was trying to go for the CMP right here. I did not realize that Mammal Swine is going to be losing CMP. I thought Mammal Swine was glassy enough that it would be winning CMP, but I guess the CP difference does balance it out there, and Dialga was able to win CMP. So I'm going to have to give up my second shield. I am down two shields right now. I am going to be able to farm down this Dialga, leave with nearly an Avalanche ready to go. And I'm going to throw one more Powder Snow and then the Avalanche into the Zacian. We know this is going to be hitting very hard. Both of Mammoth Swine's attacks hit very hard. So it does grab a shield from the Zacian. And we force them to throw very quickly because that third Avalanche comes after only five Powder Snows. They are throwing the close combat here. I'm coming back in with Mewtwo. They're coming out with a Giratina. And here's another mistake that you're going to see throughout this video. Side Strike hits so hard. It takes out like half of this Giratina's HP. No reason to go Shadow Ball there, but I didn't know that. Just because I haven't played that much, um, as I played more, I figured it out. So we're coming in now with Dragonite. We're eating the Shadow Ball, no big deal. Going to be able to get off this Dragon Claw before they throw their next charge move. This will be putting them into the red, really into Dragon Breath downrange, but they are throwing more energy right here. So this is going to be an ominous win. We do survive. I'm going to get just a little bit more Dragon Breaths, and this is perfect. Mewtwo's coming in. We're just going to cycle cut down, leave with nearly back-to-back -back Psy Strikes. Going to be throwing the first one into the Zacian, hoping that it's enough to KO. It's not, but two more cycle cuts will do it. We make it to the Psy Strike, and that's going to be GG's well played to my opponent. Definitely would have been easier if I didn't waste some of my energy uh, with that Shadow Ball into the Tina, but hey, it's all right. We made it out, right? Uh, anyways into the next battle. <laughs> yes, this was my third battle of the day and I ran into this thing and I'm like, are you kidding me? This thing core breaks my team. Mammoth Swine's gonna get one shot by a close combat. Mewtwo, it's resisting everything from Mewtwo. So we throw up a shield. Luckily, they did go straight for the close combat. They come out with a Hisuian Howlug. So my opponent, Brandon so Spice, definitely has tons of options of level 50 Pokemon. Very cool to see. Honestly, did not expect to see these Pokemon day one, but Mammoth Swine already putting in works. We get to these high horsepowers very quickly and we grab both shields from the Sasuian Avalux. So now we have the shield advantage. I'm okay with letting Mammoth Swine go. They throw the rock slide and it's not lethal. I'm going to be able to make it to at least another avalanche if they try to farm down. They recognize that and they throw another rock slide. So now coming in with Mewtwo, I do have shield advantage. However, I know Mewtwo, Mewtwo is basically useless against that Pang Pangoru. Uh, so we're going to throw the side strike here. It's going to be putting them into the yellow. We're going to need another side strike. And really, we don't want Dragonite up against this thing, but I kind of need a shield at some point. 
So we let the blizzard go. Mewtwo hangs on, makes it to another side strike, and now it's going to be Dragonite against the world. Hopefully the shield advantage that Mammo Swine gave us is enough, and it's going to be a Kyurum in the back. Very cool. By the way, I am working on my Kyurum. I am actually welling out there. Um, so again, if y'all can leave likes on this video, it's just going to help me be able to make more Master League videos for you guys. I do want to be able to get into the Master League scene to be able to put out that content for you guys, uh, but, it's, but it's not cheap. It's not cheap. So if y'all leave that like, it helps for the algorithm and it helps me make more of these. So I do appreciate it. Uh, not now. <laughs> now the Night Slash is coming through. We're just going to go for the superpower though, and this is going to be able to take out the Pangoro. So Dragon Knight with a shield able to close out the end game, and that's going to be GG's. Well played to my opponent. Y'all are going to have to excuse me just for a second. I need a sip of my tea. do have a little bit of a sore, thro sore throat that I'm fighting off. Alright, Shadow Mamoswine. Now, this is why I don't recommend Sh Shadow Ma Mamoswine. Because of the Avalanches, the high horsepowers, they already hit hard. You don't need to be more glassy. The Shadow version is not going to survive a side strike from Mewtwo. The regular version can win against Mewtwo. Shadow cannot. Now, the regular version does need to land the high horsepower just because it does slightly more. Um, and a lot of people probably don't know that, but you watch the video. So now you know it. If you are up against a Mewtwo, land the high horsepower, you win the one shield. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and let our Mewtwo go there. Yes, I could have made it to another side strike and taken them out. However, I figured my Mammal Swine loaded with energy is going to be very strong. So we are going to be over farming here. My opponent goes for the catch on Dialga, and you already know. It is high horsepower time. We are about to nuke this Dialga. Boom, nearly one shots the Dialga. We're gonna be getting the Powder Snow down, leaving with a ton of energy. Out comes their Mammal Swine, no big deal. Going to be throwing the Avalanche here, taking out their Mammal Swine, and in the back, it's going to be an Eveltal, and Mammal Swine is poised to sweep for the second time in this video. Guys, these are just stats from today. Again, my very first day playing in Open Master League, and this thing, I'm telling y'all, it's crazy. Invest in one. If you if you have the XLs, if you have anything close to the hundo, go for it. All right, into the next one, Excadrill lead. Uh, Mammal Swine does win against Excadrill, so we're going to be bringing in Mammal Swine right here. Mewtwo really doesn't want to see it, uh, at least as far as I know. Again, I'm new. <laughs> uh, so we can survive one drill run. They cannot survive one avalanche. So we're just going to be going straight avalanche here. No reason to go for the high horsepower. And they're going to be throwing the second drawer in here. So I can just match shields. We win the ones and the twos here. And yeah, we just match shields. So Avalanche number two coming through. We'll see if they want to keep this thing alive. Again, we win the twos. So we can just match shields if we want to. I think I decided to let this go though. I recognize this is likely size strike range since Excadrill is not that bulky. And Mewtwo is going to get there in five. So I'm assuming Mewtwo's gonna win CMP just because of the CP difference here. And that's what we're gonna do. Make it to the side strike. And this is enough to take out the exit drill. Beautiful. So now we have that shield advantage that we love to have, but it is a shiny Evelto in the back. So I don't know what their third Pokemon is yet. Again, we need Dragonite to sweep up a shield and in the back is going to be their own Dragonites. We did farm a ton of energy and thank goodness we held on to the energy. This is the first Dragon Claw is going to put them into the yellow. The second one will be taking out their Dragonite. All they have left is the Eveltal. Are we in Snarl down range or will we make it to the next Dragon Claw again? My Dragonite's not maxed out, but yes, we make it to the Dragon Claw. This isn't gonna be enough to take them out and Mewtwo is dry on energy. However, it puts them deep into the red. Mewtwo coming in, throwing up a shield right here. Again, throwing up a shield just means we get one more cycle cut through as they have to throw again. And hopefully Mewtwo can survive. And yes, Mewtwo does survive. And we actually cycle cut down the Eveltal. You don't see that very often. So GG's well played to my opponent. All right, jumping into the next battle. Mewtwo up against a shiny ho -Oh. Lots of people shiny flexing in the Master League. Very cool to see. You want to throw seven Psycho Guts and then throw the Psych Strike here. Every ho -Oh that I ran into today, they shield the first one. And the reason is because Sacred Fire does have that chance to drop your Mewtwo's attack. So it makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and shield up the Sacred Fire here. I'm going to throw two more Psycho Cuts and then the Psy Strike, giving them only one free turn of energy. 
Um, you two can win the two shields here. However, I didn't know that. And honestly, I feel like my back two Pokemon need shields. We're going to go ahead and let them Braid Bird. I'm going to come in with Mamoswine just farm down. They swap out immediately into a Dialga. So we're going to go just straight for it. Mamoswine wins the ones and the zeros going straight high horsepower. So let's see it. High horsepower connects, takes out the Dialga in the back. It's a Zekrom. Zekrom wants nothing to do with this Mammal Swine. We're going to make it to another Avalanche right here. That's going to be grabbing the final shield. And out comes the Dragon Knight. Now, my opponent's only win con is making a catch right here. Since we are both running one turn fast moves, it's pretty tough for me to prevent the catch. So I'm just going to go ahead and go straight for the Dragon Claw. And yes, they do not get the catch off. Takes out the Zekrom. Out comes the Ho-Oh, and they need three more Incinerates to take me out. There's just no way. So, my opponent top left, and that's going to be GG's hopefully to my opponent. All right, jumping into the next battle. You two up against another Ho-Oh lead. So, did see quite a few Ho-Oh leads, to be honest. Um, we're going to play it the exact same way, because it worked out the first time, right? So, we go for the side strike here. This is going to be, of course, grabbing the shield, like I said. Always does the very first one. And then they're going to be farming up and throwing some energy. Of course, this will normally be the Sacred Fire. I did have one that threw the Brave Bird immediately against me, which was very interesting. But now I'm going to make it to the next Psy Strike. And we'll see if they want a double shield to keep this thing healthy. I haven't seen anyone really do that. So they do let it go through. So again, Brave Bird's going to come through. We're going to let it go. We're going to come in with Mammoth Swine and just get ready to start farming. And look! the exact same thing happens so we're gonna play it the exact same way going straight for the high horsepower right here one shots the dialga again no respect for it a lot of people are still used to bulldoze which dialga would easily survive uh now unfortunately i was very slow on my swap here they are able to get a brave bird off which they shouldn't have been able to if i was quicker on my swap that's all right. We're going to leave with some energy on our Dragonite in the back. It's going to be their own D Knight. We're going to go ahead and grab the shield here with the Dragon Claw. We didn't like the... No, they're going to let it go because they know my Mammoth Swine is going to be able to reach an Avalanche very easily. That hits for double super effective versus regular super effective. But we're going to get the farm down. So GG's uh, well played to my opponent. All right. Into the next one. Tina Lee. Definitely not a lead that Mewtwo wants to see. They bring out the Excadrill to answer for my Mammo. No, 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 no. That's not a Mammo answer. We're going to be outpacing here. And again, we survived one drill run. Uh, even in the two shields, we can tank that first drill run. There's no reason for me to shield. I was a little bit worried that they were running like Earthquake. Or I think this thing actually has Flash Cannon or, or something crazy on it. Uh, but no, just drill run. No big deal. I'm going to be farming up more energy. My opponent makes a big mistake right here. They throw on CMP which is going to allow me to just use one shield and win against them when they use two. So beautiful for me. I'm going to get the Avalanche off, taking out their Exegel. Out comes a Giratina, and we get some nice chip damage. But now we can come in with Dragonite. So Dragonite coming in. I go ahead and try to call the Ominous Wind bait here. They do hit me with a Shadow Ball, but it's still a really good matchup for Dragonite. Because the Dragon Claw, of course, is going to hit for super effective. My opponent makes a beautiful catch onto this Togekiss. So, Dragon Claw, double resisted, does absolutely nothing. But Mewtwo up a shield definitely is going to be able to handle a Togekiss. We're just going to be very careful, making sure that we are throwing at proper timing. Psy Strike puts them into the red. Maybe, sh does Shadow Ball do more? No, I, I guess Psy Strike still does more. Uh, so, another Psy Strike coming through, taking out the Kiss. Out comes the Giratina, and it really there's just nothing they can do at this point. I'm at the side strike, so I go ahead and throw up a shield. It is the ominous wind, of course, but we do not care because side strike is going to be taking out this Tina. You two is a Tina answer confirmed. GG's well played to my opponent. All right, jumping into the next battle. You two against a normal Mammal Swine. So, like I said, if they land the high horsepower, they can win this. However, they throw after six Powder Snows. So I know this is an Avalanche. I know it's not going to be lethal, even with more Powder Snows. So I'm going to go ahead and let it come through. That Psy Strike hit very hard, puts them into the red. Now the Avalanche, of course, only puts us into the yellow. 
They're going to be over farming. I go for the side strike, but they make a beautiful catch on Eveltal. So I am going to, of course, get all the bubbles and come in with my Mammoth Swine. However, this is very awkward. Eveltal does have access to close combat. And we got to deal with that Mammoth Swine on our Dragonite at some point, more than likely. So I really don't want to give up a shield here, but at the same time, I don't expect them to bait. And they bait me. So, feels bad. I will be able to outpace with the Avalanche before they make it to another Focus Blast. So, I know this is only a Dark Pulse right here. We're going to easily no shield that over farm and go for the next Avalanche. Almost at the back to back Avalanches here. There's no reason for them to throw up a shield, and they do not. So, out comes a Dialga, and I don't even want to bait. I don't even want to throw the high horsepower here. Because I need this chip damage. That way Dragonite can come in and just farm this down. Now, unfortunately, not going to be before they make it to an Iron Head. So I do need to throw the Dragon Claw here to grab that final shield from my opponent. Now, unfortunately, I have to match a shield if their Mammal Swine comes in and makes it to an Avalanche. That's just GG's. Dragon Breaths are too much. We take out the Mammal Swine. Out comes the Dialga. We make it to another Claw. And that's going to be GG's. Well played to my opponent. All right, we got one more battle. I should mention I did not climb with it this team, or I did stay pretty neutral on the day, which I was very happy with, considering it's my very first day of Open Masters. I was very happy with it. So I'm gonna take one more sip here, and uh, we'll, we'll get this last battle going up against a Togekiss. All right, so we're going to be able to make it to another Psy Strike here. This will be threatening a shield from the Togekiss, and they do want to shield. That's perfectly fine. I'm okay with letting this go. Again, if Mammoth Swine can come in and farm down, there's not much that wants to see it loaded with energy. Outside of maybe a Kyogre, they do snipe with a Garchomp, which is very interesting. So I'm able to put my Mammoth Swine on. Powder Snow's tearing through this thing since it takes a double super effective damage. We're going to go ahead and let this go, knowing it's just a Sand Tomb. We're going to get off the Avalanche here. I really don't expect them to shield this since we're doing double super effective with the Powder Snows, but they do, and that's perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and come in with Dragonite. I know I can get a nice, clean farm down here. I'll make it to another Sand Tomb. This is not threatening. I'm still saving my shields at this point. So Sand Tomb does absolutely nothing. We do get the farm down. We know Togekiss is going to come back in, right? Superpower should hit harder than Dragon Claw. So I throw two Dragon Breaths and then the Superpower. I'm hoping this is enough to take out the Kiss. And it's just shy. So we do take the charm. However, we do take out the kiss as well. In the back of the Tina, we are just golden at this point. Because we can just build up to an avalanche. This avalanche is going to hit very hard into this Tina. Um, puts them into the yellow. Not quite into the red. But Mammoth Swine is just hitting me with it, right? They're, they're going to be able to throw a move here. We're already at the next avalanche and they can't hold three. So that's going to be a GG's well played to my opponent. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Boom, taking out the Tina. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment down below. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. And thank you to my channel members for your support. Until next time, this is Chua Sefem reminding you to always keep pushing forward.